around 1015, 1020. So we'll look at the futures uh, like we usually do Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And we'll just go through some of the analysis, uh, uh, live forward-looking analysis about that. Uh, and then we'll, uh, when J Trader gets in here, then we'll uh, turn it right over to him. Uh, good morning, Guido. Um, all right, so... Um, yeah, okay. Uh, good morning, Alan. Yeah, I'll, I'll touch base with you later. Uh, and I just sent you an email, actually. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, uh, for those of you who are new in here, um, yeah, actually, I don't know if we have a lot of new guys in here yet. <laughs> Maybe they come in a little bit later after when JTrader gets in here. Um, but uh, let me just describe a little bit about our education. All right, so um, understand the concept and, and, and what this is all about uh, and building the bookmap community here. Uh, trading community. Uh, the um, the concept is this. We have an educational course. Uh, it's about reading order flow and understanding these types of markets, uh, really how the market works uh, down to a binary level with basic market mechanics. Uh, that is part of the, uh, that's part one of our educational course, and that is essential to understand. Uh, also, part two about the structure is also pretty, pretty essential. Uh, and I'll show you immediately, we're going to look at the NASDAQ E-mini, and I'll show you exactly why this is so essential to understand. Then we have these live forward-looking uh, analysis webinars. Uh, so you can apply what you've learned from that course into any kind of trading method. Uh, any kind of setup, any kind of trade uh, management will cover those, uh, but it's more about understanding and reading and integrating order flow within your trading. Then we have the live trading room two days a week. Wednesdays, we have JTrader for stocks, and Thursdays, we have Scott Polsini for futures, so that you can also get insights to other professionals and their way of looking at the specific order flow uh, and their trading methodologies and trade management. So that's a very complete education uh, that you're getting, and this is all included with your Global Plus subscription. Okay, so uh, uh, I, I think it's quite, quite a nice offering. Uh, I don't know of anyone else who who does something like that. Uh, anyway, let's. Uh, you guys know who J Trader is. Um, I have his contact information. I'll be putting into the chat here. Uh, he does offer education and mentoring services. So if you like what you see, you can reach out to him. Uh, putting that into the chat there. Uh, let's go through some disclosures so you know what you're getting involved with uh, here with this live trading. It is in demo, all right, and it, it's simulated, it, and it's not as accurate, of course. Uh, as if it were live trading uh, with real account. And we do this on purpose, it's by design, uh, so that uh, you know no one's all caught up in uh, uh, the, the profit and loss here, and it's not a trading recommendation, it is educational. All right, so let's just go through it here. General disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation, demo, paper trading mode, and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results all right that said let's jump in here and here's market structure let's go over it right away guys did also want to uh, pose the question here uh, we saw a beautiful move yesterday uh, in this nasdaq e mini it's over here uh, in this area uh, and we were looking for it to trade up into 16250 uh, and we knew it was a strong move we knew we had correlated markets as well uh, and uh, I don't know, somewhere down in here, we're looking for it um, and uh, beautiful move and it continued on up higher for the rest of the day. All right, so I uh, hope you guys, uh, let me know uh, if you caught some of that. Uh, it was, you know, very, very powerful move. Uh, and, uh, you know, when we have those markets on our side, the correlated markets, as well as this move that is telling us they are moving the market. This is what we're looking for, right? Uh, it, 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 it's, it's clear. There's some clarity here uh, in the order flow. Uh, and other markets are telling us as well. Now, market structure, let's talk about that. Uh, what's happening now? Well, look at all of this sideways consolidation here, okay, after that big move, okay? So this was uh, about midday here. 
uh, when that co consolidation started, and it's been until right now. Now, wh why market? Why is market structure important? Okay, to understand. Well, look where we're just going right now uh, in the cash open. Okay, 9:30 cash open down to where? The bottom of the structure. All right. Uh, and we look for that. Now, how do we, if we see sellers starting to come in, well, then we start to look for where are they going to likely take it? And we look at liquidity levels, okay? Well, this looks pretty good right here, okay? High liquidity has been in the book for a while. These these look even better down here. Okay, now it only came down to here, right? It went through that one. One more area of liquidity just, just here around uh, 275. Uh, and then it, it's gone sideways here, and we see actually a pullback here. Uh, in fact, we are above point of control here. If we get more buyers back up here at 312 uh, uh, or so, okay, we should probably get a move back up into 325 or this area up here, uh, 333, okay, maybe even 350. All right? It's in a big consolidation period right now. Uh, anyway, this move down here, okay, understanding market structure, okay, but it went a little bit, or just just about to it, right? Uh, the the swing here uh, from uh, the overnight right here, right? So you know, you know, putting these pieces together, if you see them driving it away from the center on size, look for the bottom of the range, take some profits. If you're still bearish. Uh, then you're holding and you're looking for lower levels as well. Okay. Now, uh, let's take a look again at the same structure here uh, and, and put some pieces together. All right. So we have this uh, big profile here. And just the profile is, is very simple. Uh, what we're talking about in the profile here uh, is, is just this, this consolidation. is just showing you where that volume traded uh, within this whole range here. This whole range, right? And the most traded level is right here, okay? right around this, uh, what is it, um, uh, 300 level, 16,300, okay? Which, you know, makes sense. Uh, that That's a, the, a big figure uh, in, in round number in the market here. Uh, but we are above it now, okay? Now, are we accepting above it? Yeah, not bad so far. So we're looking to see if we can get more buyers to drive it to the other side of the range here, okay? Because we're above this point of control. It just means that, you know, we're above that area. And if you see bigger uh, green dots in here, means aggressive buyers, they're lifting the market up into some of these other areas to meet some of the sellers on the other side of the range. As simple as that, supply and demand, okay? So the supply is up here. Okay, there's somebody here at, at, at 25 and then up here at this 33 level. If we get our buyers in here, we'd be looking for that. Okay, and it, it's kind of bullish here because we're already above the value area. The most traded level just means, you know, uh, the, that this is what uh, seems to be the, the value of this instrument. Most traders agree because they're trading it at that level. If we need to see that value disrupted, we look for big buyers, big buying here to move it away from that value area and, and create a newer value area. So here they come, we're looking for it, okay? So looking for the move up here to 325 or so, uh, and then maybe 333, okay? Now, the first stop would be just top of the range here. So actually it's a little bit lower, it's 321. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm looking for a test to that, right? From these buyers here. Okay, so far so good. Let's see. Now, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're looking for that. Now we gotta go through the opposite scenario. And the opposite scenario uh, would be sellers. Let's just mark up our point of control area here. Heck, the easiest way is just to configure it. All right, there we go. Um, we'd be looking for sellers below this area here and for them to drive it away from that value area. Right? Now we might get, if we get a lack of um, a buying up here, okay, what we're gonna get is we're gonna get responsive uh, sellers, okay, which means that they think that this is out of value and they'll trade it back to value. Now, I wouldn't go with that scenario right now uh, because it, we see buyers here, more buyers, more buyers, and more buyers. 
looks like they want to lift it away from this area. The majority of the traders are telling us that okay, in the order flow. So we're looking for these buyers to lift it up into some of these areas. Okay, there we go. There's our 321. Okay, so that's top of the range now. Or I'm sorry, it's top of this little range here. Okay, the other bigger range is up here at 30 at 330. Okay, so then let's continue on up, looking still for more buyers to reach it on up into this liquidity here uh, around 333. Okay, let's mark up the top of the range as well. All right, so is, is that clear? Any questions? Uh, understanding the order flow within the range here uh, and, and what it's telling us. Okay, And there's many different ways to splice into this trade and take some profits and, and hold it, et cetera. All right. Uh, okay, it looks like uh, Joseph is in. Uh, so I uh, hope, hope you guys uh, found that uh, of value. Uh, and uh, let's turn it over to Joseph, though, and we'll get going here with some of the stocks. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Fine, buddy. Thanks for uh, uh, the great explanation. I was uh, listening. <laughs> I don't know how long you were in there, but uh, I hope you found it helpful. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. So, good morning, traders. Um, today, the market is uh, pretty slow. Uh, this morning, I was uh, uh, looking at GOEV, which is an overextended play. Uh, Prog, P-R-O-G, was looking at the breakout on Netflix, I&M, small cap, uh, PayPal, then wine and Apple. I'm actually in a position on Apple here, and uh, I will uh, share it soon. Uh, the reason why I'm looking at this stock is because we have a steady uptrend. So you can see that on the daily chart, we're holding that 200 over here. Uh, and now we're forming this cup. So I said clearly in the live stream in pre-market, and I still uh, stream uh, Bookma, so I suggest you to follow us. We have the 153 and 20, which is a daily resistance, okay? And if you see over here on Bookmap, you can definitely see a big resistance, 153. You can see over here almost 200K, okay? So that's a pretty big resistance. And only above that resistance, I'm looking for a bigger position. For now, until I'm inside this uh, range, okay, until this cup is informed, uh, I'm playing only scalp and small size. Uh, going to a five-minute chart, we can see that this morning we had two daily breakouts, the daily of the previous day, daily of two days ago, at 151 and 90. I can... Uh, Take off over here uh, the settings for now. All right. Actually, uh, this one. And we can see traders clearly the break on this morning of this 151.90, 152.00. So they went to clean over here around uh, 100k, and then they pushed a dip and they popped to the 152.80. So that was the first resistance, okay? So we had the first push, the first wave. So what I want to do over here, am I going to buy at the top? No, it's like if you buy Bitcoin right now, okay? You cannot buy the top. I'm waiting for dips. And we had over here a dip exactly to the J lines, right? But as I said, we are still not in a play uh, A plus setup environment. A plus setup is if we're going to get above that 153, 153 and 20. Over here, we had a pullback. And uh, you can see that the pullback comes directly into this level of bookmap. So look together, traders over here. So we have the dip into the 156 and uh, 151 and 60, sorry. And over here, just into the 151 and 50, we have a decent heat map. Uh, star soaking over here. You can see that bars come in. So these blue dots means that we switch 
from being, um, I would say, faders to buyers. OK, so from supply to demand, you can see over here the demand collecting, uh, absorbing just below the VWAP and now pushing. And over here, you can see clearly uptrend. Look at those uh, dips, right? Those dips over here, they are basically saying one thing. We are making higher lows, relative higher lows. And at the same time, you have more parameters that tells us that's a pretty good long because we have a dip over here into the J-lines and then right away pushes back up. Okay, makes sense. All right, if you have questions, just uh, reach out. But that basically, it's a uh, good setup for a long is the J-lines curve long setup that I played there. All right, so when I'm talking about that, you're basically knowing what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna do like this. Yes, I maybe prefer like this. All right. Now we got to the previous resistance. So we got to that 152.80, 152.70. And you can see over here that they try to buy, okay? So we still have buyers, right? They try to get uh, to this peak, 152.70. Then we had a small distribution pattern. What you see over here is a distribution pattern. So you can see exactly this. And then boom and wind. And you can see over here sellers. Now what I'm going to do, do wait again that I have a dip into this j -line. So wait again for 152, 152.10. Am I seeing something over there? Yes. I'm seeing again another support with the uh, book map, okay? But for now, you see sellers, right? So I'm not looking to compete with the sellers. I'm simply waiting. That's my dip, All right, traders? So hope that is uh, clear. A plus setup for long for the scalping play, okay? Still remember, we're not outside uh, above that previous uh, day trading resistance. PayPal. So if anybody traded uh, PayPal this morning, we had a fader. I mean, trade like this, I think this is the best uh, setup of the day. Unfortunately, I'm not in. I'm flat for the day. I'm coming from two very good uh, days, Monday and Tuesday. And uh, we had some very good setup, futures, small caps, big caps. Uh, everything was playing on, okay? Uh, but today, simply, I didn't have setups. Beside a small one on Apple, beside a small scratch on INM, a small gain, and uh, PayPal was a very good setup that I missed. All right, so uh, basically, pretty uh, flat day, but it's good. Cash is a position. Not every single day you have to trade. Okay, imagine that you have to be for today more like a swing position. PayPal. So again, first of all, check your daily, right? Uh, I want to fill a little bit over here, uh, the heat map uh, size. Let's put, for example, 200, uh, maybe 400, not too much, 400. So I don't want to see too many uh, levels over here of heat map, just the most important ones. And this morning, you can see that uh, we are uh, breaking down this uh, bear flag, right? So we had a fail over here, uh, gap down, uh, earnings, right? Earnings miss, uh, pull back to the 90 May on the daily, and this morning we're simply fading. So my target now on PayPal is uh, this one, right? 200. If I go back to the five minutes, we had an A plus setup. And some traders called it and took in the room. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five bars of pullback. Price being above the J-lines. Over here, we open at 940 above the J-lines with these two blue lines. And then we start fading. So look at 210, 210.05. Okay, so let's look together. Okay, so first of all, let me zoom out a little bit. First of all, you see over here that we have sellers, right? The majority of these dots, what color they are? All pink, you can see over here, all magenta. That means heavy selling. In that moment, and you can see over here my uh, 
my times in sales is filtered, right? I don't want to filter for uh, 100 shares or 10,000 shares. I need something uh, efficient, reliable for PayPal. And I can tell that PayPal is a very good filter, 999, 1000, okay? Don't try to exceed going two or 3000 because you'll miss so many prints. Don't try to have only 100, 200 shares because then you will see too many prints and you will get confused. I wanna see, I would say the decent orders, the good orders, decent orders, and I will see the blocks because even if we'll see over here, uh, 1000 shares minimum, then we can still see like 10,000, 20,000 shares when we have blocks passing. And I saw a few of them this morning, okay? I saw a few of them this morning. So at the point that we have over here, uh, all these pink dots, we start having a support, this 209. Uh, let's switch to a one minute chart. So price goes to this 209. You can see over here the consolidation, all right? So if you miss the first JLA rejection, as Bruce knows, this is a, an A plus setup for us on PayPal, okay? Uh, red volume means fader. Uh, trend line break, J line rejection. See the field is J line over here of 211. That's your A plus set. And exactly in that moment, we start having this first uh, sign of wash of panic selling. Over here, we have accumulation, all right? Accumulation, uh, or possibly, yeah, accumulation because we have over here somebody that accumulates, soaks at 209. Okay, so this dip over here. All right, is what you see over here on the left side of Bookman. And then we start making higher lows. And you can see we have buyers, 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 buyers. All right, we can even have partial of these that will be uh, sure sellers covering. Okay. And then what happens? I don't see any more uh, buyers. Where are the buyers? Where do they go? Uh, I see one more over here. This is really the last one. We have the previous resistance to 10 right so just above this uh, bear flag and this is one of the patterns that i train in the room so when the price is just simply below the j lines simply starts fading with the 90 may bear flag over here and then 209 level to re-enter if you look on our bookmap chart things are even clearer okay uh keep things simple trend line break Fail of the trend line. That 209 is this level over here. Pops, rejection of that level. And then when you see seller jumping in, you have a very low risk because this is a lower high, okay? And your risk is just above that level. So that's your risk, lower high coming down. And you see the majority of these is not that I see any kind of blue. I mean, the blue that we have are small. I mean, 900 shares, who cares? What we have over here is a 9,000 seller. We see a 7,900 seller. We see over here a 7,000 seller. So the majority of these dots are big sellers versus the small buyers. So the buyers are trying to, uh, I would say, hold this up, but I don't have any kind of uh, efficiency over here, okay? And then we start making lower highs and again, lower highs. And again, another pop into the 90 May and still, this is a good level to short. So exactly on the close of this bar, 207 and 75, okay? We're talking about 1001, 1002. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, over here. So you see again the pullback, right? Start seeing over here the pullback. So blue, blue, blue. So we have bars over here. These one, two, three bars, remember? Uh, the best pullbacks will be between two and three bars. And uh, we have only bars over here. At a certain point, we start seeing a seller making a lower high, lower high over here, exactly. Okay, so what happened? You can short this level. You look for this to unwind to the 207. We don't get that level over there. So what happens? When it curls back up, you simply have to use, use your, sorry, your risk break even. Okay, then we have a secondary attempt over here. So this second uh, bear flag, but I don't wanna jump two times in a row, okay? We already have one bear flag, second and third one. So that's my rule. When I have already three of them, then my odds are simply getting lower, lower, lower. At the same time, 
So look from another perspective. That's the reason why I always say use uh, zoom out. We start having this kind of scenario. And what is this, traders? So if you look at our chart in one minute, you cannot really understand it. If you look at the five minute, you will see like so small, right? Look over here, how perfect this is. This is a reversal pattern, okay? In this case, you can see that that's a pennant. And now we're simply looking to go back to the J all right? So start looking at this support, support rising over here. So they move the support from 207, then more at 207.30. So probably going to have a dip to 208, and then 208 will form a little bit more of support, and then we'll uptrend. Back to the JLN. So until 209, I'm not looking to trade this. So I'm still waiting. Uh, Joseph, you you will take the counter trend trade there um, if it goes far enough, and then you have no no no. I'm looking for a, a short, uh, Bruce. A short that the is up here. I, I understand, um, but but I mean uh, just just to um, to clarify, like uh, when you see the the big move um, uh, down, uh, there's other times when you do look for an I mean a small opportunity. Yeah, uh, let's say for scalping purposes, absolutely, you're right. In that case, uh, this double uh, double bottom or even triple over here and then a trend line break, this spot for me is a very low risk for a scalp. But, you know, I uh, I wouldn't suggest traders uh, to start scalping if scalping is not for them, only because everybody is different. And I have, for example, mentors, some scalper traders, they, they cannot intraday or swing, vice versa, some swing traders and intraday traders, they cannot scalp. So. Uh, you just need a little bit uh, to to know yourself, okay? To experiment. But this is a good level over here, especially these exhaustions. You can see very good how we dip, right? Like a V pattern, V pattern over here, big soak on the book map. One, two, three. So we have one, two, three, three relative higher lows, break, reversal. This for me, Bruce, is a, a one configuration that we saw often on the big dips. Uh, on uh, on big caps, like we've seen it on MRNA, we've seen this on Disney, we've seen this pattern in the last weeks, because all these were main faders. Right, right, thank you. You're welcome. So always reach out traders if uh, you want any kind of uh, explanation, all right? Or if you have other stocks to watch. So as we said, we are watching PayPal, and uh, apple so apple as we said before it tends to have these pullbacks into the j lines you see over here the j lines and then before i remember over here saying with bruce so you can simply this is a recording go back and said we'll be looking this for a dip into the j lines again let's see if we had any kind of big dip into the j lines right and over here we are a few minutes ago 1028 so 1028 this v pattern so look even here traders what do you see what do you see over here i mean this is a clear algo okay that is pushing down seems on purpose the um the price and i'm really and i'm really sure about this i'm really sure this is a manipulation so over here you have him flashing over here and I don't care if he's poofing or not. This is an algo. And then he puts himself over here. 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 And over here. And over here. And over here. What is doing? Stair step pattern is called. It's guiding the price down. Why? Because over here, traders, he wants at the same time to soak the support uh sellers okay so over here we have sellers he's soaking 68,000, and then they're starting to buy over here okay i'm sorry if you hear any noises but they're i'm remodeling over here my 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 place and at the same time buyers okay so those buyers are exactly over here into the j lines also previous support level okay i hope this makes sense so you have to really notice this uh 
amazing on why steer step pattern okay so those are all algos over there and then over here buyers and push uh bruce are you here buddy yes could we make the uh title of this session really about how to spot algorithms uh sure okay because i think this is one of a clear example then uh, who will watch it will understand right away how to, I would say, uh, find and uh, uh, understand how algorithms, so in this case, big hands, right? Before we had market makers, which were people like me and you traders. Now we have only uh, computer automatizations over here. So they use algorithm to, uh, first of all, understand our psychology and our, I would say, um, uh, price section, mentality, attitude of trading. They learn from our habits because algos are this, they're learning from our habits and they use them to learn how we trade. So on purpose, what they're gonna do. If you have over here, for example, a support, they will look for a fake breakdown. So they will go like hunt the stops because over here, um, big cap players long will stop out, for example, and instead over here, it's like the game that they are thinking so the game they are planning is going to take place because they will simply look to buy on the support right away you have to see this initiation over here of buyer so the tape being green okay so this is what i'm trying to make understand all these little nuances over here that they will uh, completely change your style of trading okay this is really how to look for manipulation if you want to trade this market, market is becoming smarter and smarter every single year. We don't play anymore single breakouts like we had 20, 30 years ago. We are playing over here with algorithm, with mach with, uh, against machine, uh, high velocity trading, okay? And we need to know how to take advantage of this. Otherwise, we will be a simple crumble by the way. Yeah, J Joseph, a, a, a few comments, if I may. Um, really great. Uh, and, and this is exactly the kind of visualization bookmap offers, uh, being able to spot that, to see that behavior uh, and, uh, and and take advantage of it. And, and, you know, we see all sorts of different behaviors. In this case, I totally agree with you that that um, larger player with that stair step down pattern um, is, um, you know, uh, affecting the offer uh, and uh, pushing price away into their um, uh, their buy shares uh, mm -hmm. beca because uh, if many times you'll see someone chase though maybe they're you know at a loss and they're trying to um, really stop the, the bloodletting um, but they will stay in the order book and get filled this uh, algo or this action or this actor they did not they as soon as they got it down into there they pulled that algo on the offer so they had no intent to trade uh, and 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 uh, therefore you can be pretty sure, uh, like you said, uh, that uh, that that you know was uh, an algo trying to get uh, their orders filled on the bid uh, down at a at a better price. Exactly. And uh, what traders need to know is that you don't have to follow the masses. I mean, in this case, you have to think, okay, market is going down. Is there any other purpose? Is there any other reason? why they should make an unwind or a similar real like price action because we broke an important support and we have sellers today, okay? So uh, really what we have today traders over here on Apple is absolutely an astounding repetitive uh, way to detect and to spot algorithms. If you start to look at this, trading will become so much more easy, okay? um if you look at the price uh, sorry bruce you wanted to add something uh yeah if i if i may uh joseph i i think um it, this is exactly um the correct way to look at it the way you're you're looking at it here because um you're combining that activity with um the um uh, uh the price action on the higher time frame so you're saying okay well they are stuffing below an area triggering stops um, and then getting involved and getting filled. Uh, so it's not just like, you know, 
viewing this little small activity of, a, of one individual mm -hmm. player, it's a bigger picture approach that you're combining that with that makes it much, much higher probability. Yeah, and we have to consider that Apple today uh, is still not along because as I said, we have to wait for that 153 and 20 breakout, which is a daily resistance, and right now is making, is forming an ascending triangle with a resistance 152.80. So we have also a smaller, uh, I would say, uh, consolidation, right, uh, before then the 153 and 20. And at the same time, we have to look for these intra-range manipulation. I mean, this really, this example that we saw the algo from 152.80 pushing down, okay, on purpose, over here, the stock with those algos, one after the other, so repetitive, so like schematic, so you can see he's the same. And it's so fast that a human being cannot re uh, do that again because we have exactly 10 different algos in 10 seconds. Like one cancel, one cancel, one cancel, one cancel. I mean, or you have to be like the worst, best uh, gaming uh, trader in this case, uh, gaming really because, you know, gaming in, in, uh, out and out. Otherwise, it's really like an algorithm over here, and that's what it is. And he has the purpose to make somebody buy at that support at 152 and 20. That's the main thing, okay? Uh, now, let's start looking for any kind over here or breakdown, or if he's still, let's say this algorithm is still in play, let's see if they start soaking the support, okay? Let's see if they start soaking support. And we cannot buy over here on the support because we still have some sellers. You can see that uh, the dots over here are still red. Before, look what happened. Before the soak, they start forming right away blue. And Bruce can tell you how beautiful this V pattern over here. This V pattern that went exactly into this heat map in this support, they found over here that liquidity was holding and they started like then reclaiming the upside. Okay. Uh, at the same if, time, if, if I may add, uh, Joseph, I mean, like, sure. it, this is a really good example because look what the even with that manipulation, it's short lived, right? Yeah. Like uh, they only got it up to a certain place, and just there was more sellers. Um, exactly. So, so it, like I, I think it's important to like uh, to, to just make the point here uh, to a lot of traders maybe new to Bookmap right now um, that you know this isn't. You know, you're not. We're not saying like you know. You're looking at this and saying that uh, oh, it's going to go you know uh, to the moon after this. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a short-term order flow phenomena uh, that was combined with the bigger picture here, but it's starting to fail now too. It's coming right back down, and we're finding more sellers. So it's just kind of like a, a quick kind of blip, and then y y you know you, you see uh, 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 the market just kind of absorbs that in general or. Um, digest that in general and it kind of goes back to its downtrend here in this case exactly exactly so now okay at this point what we see traders a uh, train change because we started to pass so shift over here from the sellers right now into the 1037 time and we started to see blue okay so look how fast you have to be Right away, when you see this bounce, okay, basically we had the same thing we had before. They started to buy. Look, no, no sellers over here. This is a strong buy, okay. This is a strong. Look, even the candle over here. We start making another higher high and higher, uh, higher low on this bar. So this is perfect. We can get again back to the 152 and 80. Look the difference over here. I wanna, I wanna really. Uh, market with a screenshot and over here we have the main soak level just like before and we shift from being all red to making this cup pattern and over here being all blue so this is the long buy okay this is the long and over here we start pushing so very 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 nice situation over here very nice situation I'm going to place it also on our bookmap room. Yeah, and in this example as well, like, so it had to come back down and retest again to that area. And what was the behavior down at the, at, at that retest 
So now we're getting our answer. Look at the buyers coming streaming in. Now, now exactly. you got something. Now you got something even stronger. Now, exactly. now, you, now you know. Uh, you know, uh, you have more clarity. And we're still considering this, Bruce, as an ascending triangle. So ideally, if the pattern will work, we have a stock that has to go back to the 15280. I mean, if this will uh, confirm to be a, I would say normal, okay, just, just pass it, uh, a normal ascending triangle. So um, a very clear pattern of uh, technical analysis, then what we have on our side, uh, I would say to, uh, to back us up with the, the thesis is this price section, this order floor in this case. And I'm really looking now really only at the dots. And if I have more support coming from these dips at the 152 and 20, 152 and 30, 152 and 40. Yeah, great stuff. So I'm looking also, Bruce, at uh, SEV, S-E-V. Let's see if we can upload this right now. Also, we have to go back on PayPal. Remember, we are falling on PayPal. We are fading on PayPal. After a certain time, so after 9, sorry, after 10, 10, 30, I start looking more at the 10 minute, sorry, the five minute chart, okay? We were saying before we were looking for a Zealand rejection, but we didn't get to that Zealand rejection at 10.25. So no proper trade for me. Okay, no proper trade. The the point where we got over here is this one. We are looking for that two is the rate at 70, exactly where we have the book, exactly over here. Now they finally broke that support at 207, which was the previous support. So this is a curl down, but I'm not looking to trade weakness over here. Uh, I found out at my expenses, okay, that weakness kills you. It's like if you buy a stock at a high. The same exact thing. I think the price section over here in Apple can be uh, more interesting. So now we have again traders in this pullback, right? This is a pullback. Look at the, the picture. Okay, let's do like this. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to make it one second bigger. Look, this is the entire picture this morning. And you can see clearly at the level over here of uh, 152, 152 and 20, we have simply some big buyer. Okay, this is a big buyer because we had one, two, three, four, five, five dips. And each time they try to really break the support and unwind it. And still is over there forming a support holding the price. At the same time, we know that above we have a big resistance 153, okay? Everybody knows it. We have 300K set on Apple at 153, 300K. And we have an intraday resistance 152.80 with not really too much of big heat map over here 152.80. I mean, this is even like canceled, right? We don't have that big one over here. So I'm still looking for that uh, pattern to go to the upside. And price section will really uh, determine over here my bias. So let's put again my dots. You can see over here buyers coming back in again. So that's a normal uh, small pullback, traders, from that uh, uh, 152 and 50. Okay, it's a normal pullback over there. Possible break coming 152 and 50.
And there we are, 152 and 50, 56. So they're attempting over here um, a push. I can see that. I can see that from the higher lows. I can see that from dip holding. They're trying to have the break. So I'm looking for along above this heat map over here, 152 and 55, 152 and 56. For now, they stuffed it. So at 152 and 56, I will also buy this on uh, my account over here. Uh, risking the 152 and 40. So risking this support over here, because I'm looking at two main things. On uh, book map, I'm looking for support and resistance. This is our trading range. On over here, uh, uh, the, the, the intraday chart, I'm looking for the J lines, all right? So J lines holding all morning. You see the perfect dips that we have over here. It went over under the VWAP, but not a J lines, held the J lines perfectly on that. So I'm really looking for that price section over here. Soaked again. bought it to 152 and 56. We're gonna risk, as we said, uh, 152 and 40. So right away, I'm looking at the next resistance level. In this case, we have this 152 and 77, okay? So we're looking to sell something to the strength. It's like when you trade options. I mean, if you wait that the market gives a pullback and then you sell the options, prepare yourself to give back the majority of your profits, right? Because the market, unless you have a really strong move, this squeezes and up, uh, up trends like 10, 15 bucks per share. Otherwise, you have to sell on strength. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Some sellers over here at 40. Trying to hold the 50. You can see that still we don't have big sellers. The tape is still relative green. So I'm not really impatient on the trade. We have a tight risk. The 40, which is also this uh, uh, 90 May actually is at 36, 37. See, let's see if they're going to soak the previous low. Now they put the resistance at 152 and 50. You can see uh, a seller came in 152 and 50, right? One fifty two and fifty over here. So they soak something like fifteen K for now a one fifty two and forty five. We still have our uptrend. One fifty two and fifty. Is refilling went added a position one fifty two and fifty. The risk is still at that forty. Okay, so we're risking that ninety MA. We want to see the volatility come in and we want to see those highs. Okay, so that's the main target. The risk is 14 cents and we want to see at least two R. Okay. Again, this is a scalp trade because the main setup scenario would come above that 153 and, uh, sorry, over here on the daily, that. Uh, uh, 153 and 20, which is the previous main relative high on the daily. Okay, exactly this level over here. 
Also, let's check the five minute chart. We are training good. So, yeah, 90 May, sorry, on the five minute chart. This is the one minute. The one minute can a little bit uh, wash you out a few times, like, and screw you. So, 55, 54. See, I see volume coming in, some green volume over here, some good green prints, some good green, some good green dots. One fifty two fifty eight. And we had the seller jumping in from this 152 and 58. More seller over here. So in this case, traders, you can see that seller jumped in again. So we reach our stop loss. Let's see, still holding that 9MA on the 5, giving just a few cents of wiggle room. Sometimes you just do that to make you panic out. Thirty-eight, thirty-six. In this case, we had yeah, some sellers. And they're trying to hold the 36. You see some buyers jumped in at 36, 39, 40. I prefer to watch this price section on a five minutes. Forty two, forty three. So again, they're trying to hold it, right? And now new buyers are coming in. One fifty two and thirty three, one fifty two and forty. And we still have this ninety May as a guide and the J lines as a guide. Forty-four. I still see more sellers over here. Those dots are not green dots, uh, blue dots in this case, as I want to see. So for me, that's some very important aspect. I want to see that the majority of the, I would say, the ratio between demand, demand and uh, supply is green. We're approaching again the 47. Mm. 48. Now I start to see a little bit more blue dots over here. If you look at these traders on a 30-minute chart, that's a pretty good uh, 
pattern, you can see that we have uh, uh, a pen information, right? Big pen information over here. That gave me that support at 152 and 20 and the level of resistance 152 and 80. This is looking, uh, I would say, on a bigger picture. Again, buyers approaching over here. It's just really, we need to wait for that or exit below the 90 May or for that push to the 80 over here. Okay, so still forming an ascending triangle. You just need a little bit of time. This is really the patient that you need to have while trading. A lot of patience on this one. In the meantime, just wanna shift two seconds on PayPal. So people still unwinding, okay, creating lower highs, lower lows. And people, the setup that we had this morning in uh, in our uh, with our day trading strategy is a short ride at the gate in the first few minutes over here, 941, J lines breakdown rejection, perfect for a nice unwind. Over here is up already the strategy four bucks per share. Okay, as I said, personally, I didn't jump in. I'm not in on this one, but that was an A plus set. Uh, let's put that cap on. I was not in just because I, I didn't have on my plan this morning. I didn't have up on my watch list. Okay, so 152 and 50 again, they formed that resistance. Okay, they're breaking again at 152 and 50. So they are doing this consolidation. And consolidations, in this case, with a 152.80 breakout level, they have two outcomes. Or a stuff into that big resistance 152.880. And simply we have a big sell over there that will jump in and put the price, uh, make the price back, uh, go back down 152, 150, sorry. Otherwise, we'll have simply a, like I believe we can have, a breakout until 153 and 20, okay? Because if we look this, I would say with the swing idea, okay, with a swing purpose, the entry that we had this morning is very good. I mean, the entry we had this morning is very good for an intraday purpose. Only about 153 and 20, and we have dips on that, then we can have a very, 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 very big, uh, I would say, outcome. In this case, it's going to that high, 152 and 77. So we see a progression over here of, uh, of buyers, right? And I'm gonna show you the, the chart over here with the 30 minute, uh, let's say time frame. If I can make it, I mean, I'm using over here a consecutive set of higher lows on the 30 minutes, right? So you can see that we have two big buyers on the break of 152 and 50. Now we have some sellers at 152 and 74. They're breaching that 152 and 70. So this is pushing 152 and 80. We'll have the breakout and breakout may come. So we're here personally traders. I think I treated the plan pretty good because this is my, my other. Okay, so I have an average over here, 152 and 40. And uh, if we're gonna get that breakout, wanna see 153. So price action over here is the leading indicator.
book map A plus this morning. Okay, so is that the resistance over here? What we can do is take a little bit of partial. So selling only one third, we don't have to be too early selling over here. Let's try to sell on the ask. So it's 77, 78. There we go, and there we go. So break of the 85, break of the 80, we can see traders, some very good volume, 152.85, and now we're gonna get the 153.20. and 20. Okay, so easy setup, a trending good. Uh, Joseph, if I, if I may um, uh, jump in for just a second, like so, um, you you identified that algo behavior of that uh, uh, larger actor, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and then you know it had an, it had a, a short term effect, mm -hmm. uh, and then your price came right back down again uh, mm -hmm. into that area, and yes. then then again you saw that they're, well they're still supporting it at that price level. Yeah. Right now, so you know you've got you know it, basically um, the point I'm getting at is like the the smaller kind of moves that you see some from some of these algos and it, it I know you know this it, it's just to kind of um, uh, get the point across to other newer traders uh, with bookmap here um, is to understand that that was like you know a larger player and it had an effect but it was short lived but it was still supported. Yeah. And then, and then you can see the the ship, the bigger ship starts to kind of turn, and then other other traders start to join in on that, um, and so it had an effect, and it took a while, uh, and uh, but now we can see that it had a positive outcome, uh, or at least for them, it, it certainly did. Uh, and, Look over uh, here, Apple now, Bruce. I'm yeah. long 500 shares on this, so uh, on my uh, real account, so I'm gonna look for. A pretty big target over here. If we can break this 153, now I'm trailing everything 152 and 76 because it's the previous support over here below that resistance. Okay. And so previous resistance, now support 152 and 76. If you can break 153, my main target is 153 and 20. If we break that, 155 and new highs coming. Okay. I see the breakout, I see the intraday pattern. I think we took a very good day over here. And uh, this can be a home run, traders. This can be a really a home run. Let's see if the 153. So we have this uh, resistance over here. You can see, let's see if they're gonna, 300K resistance on Bookmap. 300K resistance over here, all right? So we're not talking about 300k resistance. Just want to make a point out of this because not every single day we'll see a resistance like that. And I'm gonna make a point. This is the Ranger K resistance, which it went, okay? So lasted duration. 10 seconds. So 10 seconds in 10 seconds, they 300 K. That's a point. Uh, I have still 500 shares average 152 and 40. So we're going to have a big one over here. And that's it. That's it. My Bruce 153 and 20. So I'm going to sell parcel over here again. And also partial with mine at 153 and 30. Great trade, Joseph. Thank you, Bruce. 
selling partial over here. All right, getting filled. So that is the main thing, traders. Look for those resistance levels to be breached. And, uh, you know, just said, <laughs> I'll, I'll stop on this uh, uh, algo after this, but uh, uh, what um, I find so um, helpful with it is the insight that, that we got from it. And it's not some sort of uh, indicator, like a, a derivative of time, price, or volume. You know, like uh, maybe you're looking at MACD or RSI or, you know, uh, whatever it might be. Um, this was just, you know, objective market behavior at a level of importance uh, that gave you additional insight. Uh, and you can use that. Exactly. Exactly. 153 and 40. It's still up trending. Now we have breakout traders. We have buyers over here. Look over here, traders, right now. I mean, this is a perfect way to understand how to trail, right? One fifty-three and fifty. So we are up about one dollar and ten and ten cents from our entry. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. There's no reason over here to close position. We have to hold at least half of our position. So that's what I always say in the room. Uh, some traders get out too soon. And basically what happens over here in terms of risk management. If I'm going to exit a winning trade too soon, and then I'm going to cut, even if I cut correctly, a bad losing trade, okay? I, I use a stop, correct. Uh, it's like I'm killing my RR on the setup on my risk reward ratio and basically my profit end of the month will have a big inflection from this. So let make your uh, wins run and let cut your losses soon. All right. So 153 and 60, still going, still strong. This huge amount of volume over here. Let's see. So Bruce, we had uh, maximum size, no minimum size, sorry. So we had Bruce. Uh, six, okay, six blocks on Apple. The biggest came is 153,000. Okay, so this is a buyer. This is a buyer. Okay, this is a buyer. This is an incredible amount of volume. Okay. So, Joseph, uh, if you could maybe um, uh, uh, give us insights on your trailing um, and when when do you take profits? What what is the some of the uh, criteria? OK, there are uh, different setup, setup sorry, that I trade. But over here, Bruce, question for you, question for everybody that is listening. Is Apple making still higher lows and higher highs on the one minute chart? Bruce? Yeah, uh, very clearly. <laughs> exactly. So in this case, there's no point for me to sell any partial if it's still making higher lows. If we make a lower low, like in this case, then I can start looking into a little bit more. But for me right now, this setup can become a swing because we are above that daily resistance. 
So the point is, let's look to trail right now with 153 and 20, 153 and 10, because we still can have big potential. Okay, great. I mean, it's just um, uh, that uh, you know uh, idiom that you know uh, cut your cut your losses and let your winners run is is uh, we hear it all the time, but it's not so easy to do. Yeah. Now they had a dip. Dip was bought over here, so that dip is in the 153 and 40, just the 90 May. So I'm writing something for our members, Bruce, that I want it to be very clear. So we have block buyers on the break of the daily resistance on Apple, okay? Which is first 152.80, then we have a second one, 153.20, all right? So we have two big uh, resistances. Uh, how to look for manipulation of the soaking bit at 152 and 20 we saw before for, for pushing strong to give us the breakout. So the main goal, and we said before in the recording session, so if you go traders over there, you can understand the main goal of that algo was to let the big hands soak on uh, long traders to stop out, he got, I would say, he absorbed, okay, we can uh, re-say re, re that, he absorbed, or they, okay, or maybe they, the entire volume, all right, for then propping, with high volume. So basically we have two situations. One scenario is that uh, the big hands bought the dip, 152, 152 and 20. The retailers, because they can see the daily breakout, I mean, even my, everybody can see it, we're saying something worse. The retailers bought 153 and 20. There's one buck of difference one buck of difference okay that's the main point over here traders right so this we can say this is the main daily breakout and this is the first breakout second breakout over here we're basically big hands i think this is very important we'll post in the room so we can have over here this is the daily breakout do you find it useful this traders I'm doing this for you. So we have over here a uh, soaker, uh, absorber, big hand, uh, uh, bought after algo pushing down. And over here we have first BO, you know, BO is a breakout, second BO. Okay. So that is also another thing you can see over here, inflection of volume or contraction. This is called, we we'll say, I don't know why I did this, but it's called contraction, okay? Contraction. Uh, Brooks, uh, Brooks, Bruce, sorry, buddy. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, I think this is a pretty good explanation. I think uh, I will post over here in the book map uh, room. Just one second, traders. I said I'm doing this for the all crew. Okay. 
and we can really put this how manipulation works. So I'm up one buck and 60 cents on this one. So simply incredible trade for the day. Mama Bear today didn't trade Bruce Mill, missed, sorry, missed entirely over here the options because she would have bought a ton of options over here. This would have been, uh, I would say, almost a six figures probably. Wow. So it's still pushing. And uh, what I want to show over here, traders, that the last part, they had a small pullback and then all blue over here. See it? That is. And it's still making higher lows. Okay. Still making those higher lows. So the next stop, we have still over here 400 shares. We're going to do 150 when I have a first lower low breakdown and then 90 main, then J lines. Okay. We're just trying to use over here patience. If your trade will give you 10 bucks per share. You don't want to sell everything right at two bucks per share, correct? Going for two bucks per share, 154. So the day was, I would say, uh, sideways for me. Was small green, now green came. And now green came. And uh, green came because we waited for the A plus setup. The scalp was there, so the reason to enter scalp was there, but then we can enter the A plus setup. For example, if somebody didn't enter, I mean, this is the setup. These are the setup that I'm looking for. So those dips in the enemy and then curl back up. If you look at the five minute chart traders right now, you can see such a great pattern of curl, right? Such a great trading pattern curl over here. Really like this stuff. J lines and bookmap together are working like a beast, Bruce. We should do a bundle. Yeah, we, we've been uh, we've been talking to you about that. Trying to uh, uh, trying to get the J lines uh, uh, in there and uh, yeah, other things. Um, would would love to do would love to do more, Joseph. Definitely. One fifty two and one fifty four and forty still making on the five minute every bar traders a higher low. Okay. This is really incredible. Uh, this morning, Bruce, just to uh, shift a little bit of our, I would say, attention on Apple. Okay. Because I think we cover only big caps and I don't know if traders over here are totally happy of that. Totally happy of that about that. I was saying totally happy uh j lines over here and it's morning we have one runner inm is a small cap um you can see j lines holding and what we had to gather traders with the j lines over here i'm going to show you a little bit better maybe if i filter a little bit okay you put this at 9999 boom 
main support three cents of two cents away from it three cents away at that 190 so you see over here this is the heat map and that has the day lines together boom okay boom again beautiful curls up so let's get back to apple Traders, we're starting to get near the close of our session. Uh, any kind of uh, any kind of question over here? Uh, yeah, just a moment. Uh, J, the uh, J Fox, the uh, J lines are um, that's um, uh, Joseph's uh, proprietary. Uh, the lines there that he has that he's he, he trades off of looking for you know momentum there um and uh, and support uh the um uh let's see ryan uh can you take a look at Prague? yeah I, I don't think we have time ryan um if you maybe uh we can look at it uh, uh another time uh and then oh yeah about the 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 volume delta dots and the uh heat map setting someone was asking about that earlier if you could show okay. that, uh, joseph your settings there just uh, quickly because uh sure um, sure so first of all bruce is the main expert in this so i refer to him when i have uh some kind of uh problem i mean uh, bookman has an amazing customer support okay so uh right to, to them they can really help you uh, then uh, I'm, I've been testing, but still like, uh, so the new version over here of the uh, add-ons, uh, sweeps indicator and absorption indicator. I'm still testing them out, okay? Uh, I'm a pretty like basic trader. I mean, like I study all the indicators out there, probably 5,000 indicators really during the years. And I mean, I trade with maybe like, not even the 0.1% point, uh, of them. Okay, so I only use like three indicators basically. Uh, price action and order flow is really what counts. Okay, then we can add tools to make our thing uh, life easier, but price action is what really counts. Volume, price action, uh, understanding the scenario. Uh, if we go over here under uh, settings, uh, I like to have my heat map a little bit modified, so filtered. I still invite you to use auto over here, auto. Not manual, not none, but you see, I, I really don't like this. I, I like this one, uh, auto. And then if I don't have any kind of uh, filtering, uh, in this case, Apple is pretty good today, but if I don't have any kind of filtering, I start seeing too many blue levels, white levels. I don't want that. I wanna see uh, the main overall traction, even because I have four book maps often open at the same time. So imagine over there going crazy with all the chart. No, I want to see something that at a glance, okay, gives me an edge versus the normal level two. That's that's the main purpose. Everybody's using level two. Professional traders are using book map. And uh, heat map over here, I like to filter. For example, normally for the big caps, uh, 9.99. Okay, you'll see me uh, sometimes putting 2,000. If I have a very volatile stock, it can be Apple, it can be Tesla. Uh, vice versa, when I have low volatility, so and uh, low liquidity, right? Uh, for example, Tesla, when we have 50k uh, uh, volume bars per minute, it's a very low volume day. High volume day will be 150 to 100k. 
at least for the first 60 to 90 minutes. When I have 50K on Tesla, I need to reduce that minimum size to filter the heat map. And I will ideally put it to between 300 and uh, maybe 600, okay? Is it clear this? Okay. Yep. The next thing uh, that I like over here are the volume dots. I don't really use the volume bars. I mean, you can use it, traders. I'm, I mean, if I have to look at this, I may look at the volume that I have on my toss, okay? Uh, there's VWAP that I use it. That's fine. You can use the bar. So the candlesticks over here, I always call them bars. And good. That's fine. If, for example, if you don't want to look at a chart constantly, all right? Uh, but I don't use them um, sometimes, but for now I don't use them. I like to see just the, the line over here, the, the, the price line chart, then the volume dots. That's really important for me. And I just like to have the transparency very, very faded because I need to see below the price section. Okay. And uh, for this, I'm using MBBO. Then I use the clustering smart. You can like, you can really try to test. Uh, by volume, you can like to uh, buy smart over here uh, or uh, buy time, okay? Try to test really uh, and then let me know if you find something better, maybe like, Jay, this is working just much better than what you said. Good, good to, to learn something more. Um, what I suggest personally, I like to have them big like this because at the glance over here, Bruce, tell me, who is in control right now? Don't look at the trend, look at the color. Big blue. Exactly, that's the main point. I mean, look at this, okay? Even my dog that cannot distinguish color, you will understand that this is just like simply the blue in control over here. So let's look for this stuff. Easy stuff, pays big, okay? This is gonna go 155, we break 155, 160. So we can have started really a swing position today with an inside trading uh, position. Okay, traders? All right, uh, Bruce, will this uh, video will be uploaded in the bookmap YouTube uh, section? Yes, sir. Okay, so I will love also to share it in the room after. And uh, thank you for, very much for today, buddy. Uh, we had a very good day, a very good team with you. Looking to make some... Uh, maybe courses or webinars live this time, okay? So really like uh, together, maybe New York. I know, you know, you're based there. I love, I have family over there. So that would be great. And uh, thank everybody in the meantime for being here. Bruce, you need to add something more? No, this was just great. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph. I'll put it on YouTube. Uh, look for it maybe, um, in, you know, a couple hours or, or so. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you again, traders. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.